everyone and welcome back to Cook's Corner. I'm Dawn from Kachina Aurora down in Salem, New Hampshire where we make these amazing, delicious, incredible infused olive oils. Uh, today I'm making you a really fun salad. It's really quick. Uh, lots of fall flavors as we're heading into the fall months. I really love to make big salads like this. Then I'll throw chicken in or leftover steak or whatever and I'll have it for the whole week for lunch. So we're making an apple kale quinoa salad with a rosemary vinaigrette dressing. Uh, again, sounds like a lot, tons of ingredients, but kind of easy. So we're going to start with some quinoa. If you don't have quinoa, you can use rice. Brown rice would be the best, but I love quinoa. This is leftovers because what's better to do with leftovers than make a nice salad. Uh, some Fresh chopped kale. Now the thing about kale is, lots of people say that it's too tough. So if you just give it a quick massage like this, it will help break down some of the toughness of the kale. So I'm gonna throw that in my big bowl here. Some shredded Brussels sprouts. You could use cabbage if you're not a fan of Brussels sprouts. They give it such a good crunch, you know? We're gonna have some of these amazing fresh cut up Granny Smiths. I choose Granny Smiths because when you're making them in a salad, they keep their crunch, they keep their, their shape, and they don't tend to get mealy. I'm going to throw in some of these dried cranberries and just a little bit of shredded almonds. You could skip almonds if you're not a fan, or you could substitute them with pecans, which is also delicious. Now, I'm just going to whip up a little bit of dressing for this using our rosemary infused olive oil, which is my personal favorite, especially this time of year for salad dressings, or roasted potatoes. Oh, it's so good. And you can just turn it upside down, give it a good shake, and look at all the beautiful infusion there. Oh, it's so delicious. Really one of my favorites. So about two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons of olive oil, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, squeeze a fresh lemon, and a little bit of sugar to cut through that vinegar. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and then we whisk, 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 whisk. Because it's just as fun to say whisk as it is to actually whisk. There we go, right on top. Look at that. The fresh lemon just makes it so aromatic. All right, and now we're just going to toss that up. This is perfect, too, if you're um, looking for a great side dish to go alongside chicken. Like I said, make a big batch, and this is lunch for the week. And to make it just a little extra fancy, I'm going to top it off with a little bit of goat cheese. Mmm, delicious. So there we have it. Apple kale quinoa salad with a rosemary vinaigrette. You will not be sorry. This is tangy and sweet and delicious. And it's a great way to get your greens. Who doesn't love that? So you can find this recipe, as well as all of my amazing infused olive oils, at cucinaaurora.com. And if you prefer to shop locally, you can find all of our products at Mike's Meat Shop in Pittsfield and at Max Apple Farm in Plainfield, which is great because you need apples for this recipe. Thanks for watching, guys. Join us again on Cook's Corner next time. Bye.